he loved his job. He just said, I love what I do. And so there he was. And it was there that he lost his life. Tonight, the Massachusetts family of a contractor killed in Afghanistan shares their memories. Dick McAvoy was one of three international contractors killed in Saturday's explosion in Kabul. The West Point graduate grew up in Central Mass, and today our Ken McLeod sat down with his mother and sister who say he gave his life to help others. Janice Proctor was stitching charity aprons when she got the news she had long feared. Just had to wrap your head around it. She's talking about the death of her son, 57-year-old Dick McAvoy, a retired Army colonel turned military contractor, killed over the weekend when a suicide car bomber hit his convoy in Afghanistan, where he was training Afghan soldiers and police. He just loved his job. He loved what he was doing. He felt like he was making a difference. We all had to say our prayers that night. His sister Luann was among those who spotted something special early on. I mean, I don't know anybody who didn't like my brother. He was a three-sports star at North Brookfield High, not to mention a handsome class president. I used to have the girls calling me just to have a date with him. <laughs> that was his graduation in West Point. His West Point degree led to a 28-year Army career, during which he often sent good wishes from afar, and after which he passed on a desk at the Pentagon to stay in the field with contractor DynCorp. He just knew how to manage without being a boss. But he also got two kids through college, took them to the Super Bowl, and made a family trip to Ireland just this summer. He was just such a good person. But this afternoon, this mother was packing for a trip to Dover Air Force Base to accept her son's body. He died doing what he loved. In North Brookfield, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.